Tajikistan's defense minister met with Pakistani defense minister and handed him the most perfect gift that Pakistan currently need. Colombia has signed a $4.25 billion deal for 17 Gripuni fighters, pushing the per unit cost to over $250 million even after accounting for training support and infrastructure, a figure still significantly higher than Rafael or even F-35 package costs. Goa Shipyard is set to invest 1,500 crore rupees to build a greenfield facility in Andhra Pradesh, marking the shipbuilder's first expansion outside Goa. The Indian Navy is set to induct Cochin Shipyard built INS Mahe anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft on 24 November. India is exploring the 8 km range Martlet air launched missile variant for the Prachand light combat helicopter to create a dedicated counter UAV punch against male and hail class drones. Bangalore based Prime Toolings has developed a micro solid motor engine weighing just 427 grams, designed for emerging applications in micro missiles and RPG launchers. The Indian Air Force is procuring 40 swarm systems, each containing 20 drones, adding up to 800 medium range swarm drones. Among the top contenders are the Hero 30 from Adani Elbit Systems, and the Lancet Loitering Munition from Russia's Zalu Aero Group, with the selected bidder required to achieve at least 50% localization in India. The Defence Ministry is all set to clear the DRDO's 10 kW Integrated Drone Detection and Interdiction System Mark II, which has the capability of destroying enemy drones at 2 km range. New Space Research and Technologies has said, that a working demonstrator of the Abhimanyu jet-powered collaborative combat aircraft will be ready in 2026, with carrier integration in 2026, with weaponization and full development completed by 2029. Fresh images of the Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile mock-ups reveal that it is 15% longer than Mark I, with sharper nose cone for Mach 4 Plus performance and wider tail fins for improved high altitude stability. The Astra Mark II is projected to hit 250 km, and key range multipliers include a 20% propellant volume increase from the larger diameter, 12% more fuel due to added length, a dual pulse solid rocket motor delivering 50% efficiency boost, optimized lofted trajectories giving another 30% gain, and new high energy propellants offering 30% specific impulse uplift. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a global tender for advanced vibration rigs that will be used for ground vibration tests of the AMCA Stealth Fighter program. These tests help engineers understand how the aircraft's structure reacts to all kinds of forces before the first prototype takes flight, ensuring the composite heavier frame can withstand aerodynamic loads, from subsonic turbulence to supersonic vibrations, and dynamic behavior of components like radar avionics bays and canards. French firm Safran has committed to a 100% Indian supply chain for its proposed 120 kN jet engine, a move that would effectively end foreign dependence in this category. Safran also assured that its proposed 120 kN jet engine will match the exact dimensions of the F-414, enabling effortless plug-and-play retrofits across all current and future F-414 powered platforms like the Tejas Mark II and AMCA, ensuring future power margins for heavier payloads, extended range and next-generation weapons. Russia has unveiled an export-ready Su-57E variant featuring rectangular 2D thrust vectoring stealth-treated nozzles at the Dubai Air Show 2025, marking a major redesign to fix the fighter's biggest weakness, its high rear aspect radar and infrared signature. Russian officials have said that the new flat nozzles combined with upgraded radar absorbent materials will cut rear radar cross-section by 50% bringing the jet closer to Western stealth norms. The renewed pitch is noteworthy for India, because the Indian Air Force had specifically raised the rear aspect stealth problem with Russian officials during earlier evaluations. Today's Top 3 Comments